Hidden amongst rolling hills and shady Welsh valleys is the site for an internationally renowned music event. The Green Man Festival plays host to 10,000 guests and 80 artists who are performing across five live music stages. Unfunded, unspoilt, this is a unique music event. The festival team, headed by director Fiona Stewart, take five long days to transform the Glanisk Park estate in the middle of the Black Mountains into a bustling, magical music festival. The Green Man is the last unique festival. It's a beautiful place. Glanisk is just a stupendously wonderful site. It's just awe-inspiring. I love it against the mountains and yeah, I think it looks amazing. I think it's the most beautiful festival site in, I, I've been to. During the event, I have an operational team. It's a lovely festival. I, I like the ethos of the festival. I ask to come every year because I love the site. The main thing is it's a great bunch of people to work with. It's a fantastic team, a really, really pleasant festival to do. What do I love about the Green Man? It's a beautiful setting. It's got a great team behind it. Fiona's fantastic, who runs it. Working in muddy fields, the JCBs and 45 tonne articulated lorries are just some of the many challenges facing Fiona and her team as they work to bring the infrastructure for a small town to these unpopulated fields. You have to sort of know a little bit about everything to do this job. You don't have to be a plumber, but you need to know enough that you can, you, you can monitor people who are doing it properly and you're not ripped off. I've never done an event in Britain where it hasn't rained a bit. If you're experienced enough, you work around it. So it's, And you, if you choose a site that's appropriate for a festival, you know that that site will dry well. Every aspect of this event is planned, checked and double-checked. No detail left to chance. The project is approached in a very, very analytical way. That's probably why it seems relaxed because the planning's gone into it for a number of years. The analytical planning process really starts with your audience profile. If, say, you wanted to put on a brand new festival, you look at your audience, what kind of people they're going to be, what kind of needs they're going to have. It's going to be a big family audience, lots of children, if it's going to be a much younger audience, and the different implications. That's your number one focus, that they have a good time and they're safe. You know, actually, probably reverse order, they're safe and then they have a good time. And the festival opens, on time, on budget, and ready for punters to have a wicked weekend. Everything's sounding good, people are happy, the sun's shining. People are happy, smiling, the sun was out earlier. They get much better, really. Green Man's a beautiful <laughs> festival. It's people that come are amazing. The team who are involved in building this are our friends. Everybody knows each other. Uh, the people that are running it are really nice. Like a little family get-together almost. It's just fantastic. We do it because we love it, all the people who are involved in it love it, and the people who attend love it. And I think we can still offer a unique experience. I think that's what I love about the Green Man, that it's still a unique thing. And that's, um, yeah, it's lovely.